Do you need help editing your shorts? Because I know I did whenever I tried transitioning from long form creating to short form because it is a whole different thing. At least it seemed like that, but like now I've gotten good at like making the short form content more short form style. And then my long form, I know how to do that. I've been doing that for a really long time. Now the short form content that I've been making recently is on our new business channel. We're starting up a like lip gloss small business. So I've been making so many like promotion videos and stuff for that. And it's all short form. I've made quite a few videos on there now. We're actually gonna be launching our products on May 10th, this Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It'll be on our website, aisle21.com. You can shop there. Anyway, I'll have everything linked in the description. So the first thing I do is I film the video. Now, I already have like the clips all ready to go, and I'll show you whenever we get on the computer how I lay that out, and then how I come up with a voiceover to go with it, because that's where I had the most problems. Because when I first started, I would do the voiceover, and I would just start rambling on, and I could not like condense what I had to say down to however long the video was, which in most cases, it's like 20 seconds. And I'm used to filming like long videos. So I'm gonna get my computer and we will begin editing. Okay, I got my computer right here. I use Final Cut Pro for editing everything. Sometimes I'll use CapCut on the phone, but that's like very rare. I much rather transfer all the footage onto my computer and edit with Final Cut, just because I can do it in like a quarter of the time. I don't know, editing on phone is just, everything's so tiny, kind of hard. So what I will do is find all of the video that I filmed for the short, and I'm going to select the clips and I'm going to airdrop it to my MacBook Pro. Now in Final Cut Pro, you have to go down here to where it has your like video format, and then you're just going to make sure that you make a vertical project since this is like a short form video. I'm gonna go ahead and make my project. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag all of the footage that I filmed and then I'm gonna insert that onto my timeline. It's just three clips. So once I have all my clips on my timeline, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like just watch through this, see what I have. And then I'm just going to clip this up to where I just have the most important parts. So like, as you can see on this first video, clearly the main thing is me filling the lip gloss. So I'm just going to start at the beginning of that clip. I'm gonna cut it right here. And then that front clip, I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and delete. And then we now we have this filling. And then I'm going to go to the end of where I want this clip to stop. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that there. And then I'll go ahead and delete this clip. So that way we just have just the clip of me filling the lip gloss. And it's quite slow. So I think I might speed that up depending on how much I'm talking whenever I do the voiceover. And then of course for the next clip, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it down to the part of the video that I wanna keep. Okay, I just trimmed up all my clips, cut everything to the way I am wanting it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and watch this through, kind of see how the flow is and see if I need to shorten any clips or make one clip longer because sometimes I can cut them a little too short and I'm like whoa can't even see it so you gotta make it slightly longer okay we have us filling it beautiful I think I may speed this clip up just because it is kind of slow yeah that ending may need to be trimmed up a little bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that right there okay I'm slightly getting bored on that last clip now one thing with short form is people have a very short attention span on there so you're gonna have to cut out a lot of your video because if it's slightly boring they're just gonna to scroll so trim out all the unnecessary things that's very important and at the end i do like a little product showcase showing our beautiful lip gloss you should buy it. now i actually don't know what i'm going to do for this voiceover i think i may just do a voiceover talking about the color and when we're going to launch it because i got to start promoting that so I use, for my microphones, when I do voiceovers and stuff, I use these little Synco microphones. They look like this. These mics you can use on a computer, on your phone, and a camera. The only other thing is I can't use them on my G7X, which is this camera. That's the camera I'm filming on because it doesn't have a mic port. These are the microphones I use. I also use the lavalier attachment, but you can unplug that on the actual like mic itself because there's like a mic right here and you can talk like this too. Also, I'll have, I'll have all my camera gear and stuff linked down in the description. And that's what I used for all my voiceovers, but you can use whatever you have. Also, it's wireless, so, you know, you can film at a distance and talk. So they just turn on, and then they just automatically connect. I'm so blurry. Now, opening up my uh, voice recorder right here, I kind of don't know what to say. So normally when I do a voiceover and I don't know what I'm going to say, I just kind of like press record and start talking. I kind of have like a little idea of what I'm going to say, but a lot of the times I will delete the first few voiceovers I do because I don't like them. And then I'll come back once I have my organized thoughts and it comes out better. Here's an embarrassing clip of me doing voiceovers for a short. This is a new lip gloss honeybee that gives you this beautiful See, and then I forget what it, I need to say. That happens a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this clip and I just 
like to put my voiceovers like on a timeline because they're easier to edit. I'm gonna try that again. Voiceover number two. I'm still not a professional. Gloss Honeybee. It's not Honeybee, it's Golden Bee. Dimmer that has a little hint. Isle21.com. See you there. I'm gonna laugh at myself while I'm editing, editing this video, I'm sure. Anyway, I have my voiceover here. That, that seemed pretty good. I feel like I'll be able to chop that up pretty well. So since that one was a success, I'm going to take this voiceover and place it up here. And I'm deleting this first part because I don't like it. When editing any audio clips, you can see the visual, you can visually see the audio like right here and then this pauses right here so what I'm just gonna do I'm just going to take out all the little pauses cut everything and trim it up and then we'll watch it to see what it sounds like all right let's watch it it's not honeybee it's golden bee there's me correcting myself we're gonna be launching our lip gloss on aisle21.com all right I'm gonna go ahead and perfect this voiceover till I think it looks good and then we'll place the voiceover underneath all of our footage and I'll show you how to like trim it up so it matches the length of your video okay I just finished my voiceover and that sounds great and then I also added a few more b-roll clips to my main timeline this little clip of like the swatch of the lip gloss so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of our voiceover and I'm just gonna drag it straight down just like this and now we can see that the main clips do need to be shrunk down now I know that I do want to shrink this first clip of me filling lip gloss because it seems a little bit slow but before I do that I'm just going to edit the audio a slight bit more what I like to do is I like to take the clips and just bring them slightly over like this so that way there's no pauses at all during the voiceover okay yeah that definitely really shrunk that down i'm gonna watch this just to see how it sounds make sure everything flows good it's so pretty oh yeah that sounds good to me so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna highlight all of these clips and then i'm gonna press option g and that is going to combine all of those clips into one one clip It'll, let me show you when you press ok as you can see it brought all those clips down into one clip so the first clip i'm gonna go ahead and shrink by speeding this up that seems good okay i shrunk all the top clips and now everything looks good so i'm gonna watch it one last time make sure everything sounds good and then we'll add some funny background music that everyone else uses all right the video is finished i'm gonna go ahead and play it for you so you can watch it this is our new lip gloss golden Bee. it is a beautiful gold shimmer that has a little hint of some green iridescence and when applied to your lips it looks like the golden hour of the sunset it's so pretty we're gonna be launching golden bee in five other lip gloss colors at aisle21.com may 10th at 7 p.m central standard time see you there let me know if you'd wear this gloss what do you think it's a youtube short yeah i'm gonna be real these videos are kind of stupid but hey you know what that's the point have you ever seen something like serious on youtube shorts probably not at least i haven't also if you're having a hard time making shorts i know it is it is difficult i don't know why i found it so frustrating at the beginning because you cannot see much whenever you're editing a video that is like you know vertical but the more you do it the better it gets and stay tuned for our lip gloss launch i have been so excited about that we've been working on this for quite a while now i hope we sell product like i hope these videos are a good marketing tool for this because it's all free advertisement you just have to make all the videos and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments i'll try my best to answer them please don't leave any hard questions please see you later